How to Prosper, Succeed, and Live the Abundant Life, God's Four-Step Success Formula. Hi, I'm Crystal with the New Day Grace. We encourage and empower you for each new day. We have a really special offer we want to give to you as a free audio MP3. 10 Daily Christian Morning Affirmations. You can find the link in the description below. This video I'll be sharing from our 10 Daily Confession Series, which is a series of powerful, life-changing Christian affirmations. And I know that you will love them. So thank you for joining me. And be sure to subscribe to our channel. So let's get started. God gives us everything we need in His Word to live a successful, healthy, and blessed life. Following, we will look at God's four-step success formula from the book of Proverbs, which is written by King Solomon, known as the wisest man in the world. God gave King Solomon words of wisdom to share with all who would listen. My child, listen to me and do as I say, and you will have a long, good life. I will teach you wisdom's ways and lead you in straight paths. When you walk, you won't be held back. When you run, you won't stumble. Take hold of my instructions. Don't let them go. Guard them, for they are the key to life. Proverbs 4, 10 through 13. If we continually speak and meditate on the Word of God and obey it, then we will prosper and succeed. Following are the four steps of God's success formula. Number one, attend to the Word. That means we give God's Word our undivided attention. We make time to study, pray, ponder, and meditate. We put God and His Word first in our life. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and He will give you everything you need. Matthew 6, 33 When God is our number one priority, everything else works out. He takes care of all our needs. Putting God first and seeking His kingdom is to obey His Word and do things His way. And that includes walking in love, thinking on good things, speaking life, praying for others, and becoming who God created us to be in Christ. If we truly want to attend to God's Word, we must decide to do so. It's easy to say we will, but to do so is to make it a daily discipline. Number 2. Incline your ear to its sayings. To incline our ear is to listen, pay close attention to what we are hearing. In Romans 10.17 we read, So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Our faith will develop and grow as we immerse ourselves in God's promises and continually hear and speak them. Number 3. Do not let them depart from your eyes. We must keep our focus on God's truth and not be distracted by our circumstances or a negative report. This happened to 10 of the 12 spies in the book of Numbers in the Bible, chapters 13 and 14. They looked to the bigness of their problems and not to the bigness of their God. They lost sight of God's promises and believed a lie, and as a result, they forfeited the victory and blessings God had for them. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Give careful thought to the paths for your feet and be steadfast in all your ways. Do not turn to the right or the left. Keep your foot from evil. Proverbs 4, 25-27 Number 4. Keep them in the midst of your heart. The more we hear and meditate on God's Word, the more ingrained within our heart it becomes. Our hearts are fertile soil for the Word of God to grow and develop within us. God's truth mixed with faith results in God's success for our lives. God's success is God's perfect will, God's best for our life, God's way and not ours, God's prosperity, not the world's. God's abundant life. Let's recap God's four step success formula. Number one, attend to the Word. Number two, incline your ear to its sayings. Number three, do not let them depart from your eyes. And number four, keep them in the midst of your heart. 
In closing, we will read Proverbs 4:20 through 23. My child, pay attention to what I say. Listen carefully to my words. Don't lose sight of them. Let them penetrate deep into your heart, for they bring life to those who find them and healing to their whole body. Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. To get your free audio MP3 of 10 daily Christian morning affirmations audio download plus special bonuses, go to newdaybooks.com. And be sure to subscribe to our channel New Day Grace and click the bell to get notifications of upcoming videos. Thank you and God bless you.